Welcome to Crazy Nuts, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike, the explosive one. Oh, let's start the timer. Ba ding. TNT. Ooh. So, Washington. D.C. I love it. Yes. Not, not Biden's playground, the other side of the country. Cambodia. Yes, basically. Uh, they, I don't know exactly how this came to be, truth not facts here, but there, there is a law now that has come into effect about police being able to pursue people. Like mm. in like a chase, yes. Um, where like they're not allowed to, to like it's like it's something weird of like if they pull you or they if they throw on their sirens for like D, a DUI stop or something like I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point of my story. Mm -hmm. The point of my story is there was a situation where like criminals are starting to know this, so there was a nine one one call where the guy who was being chased by the cops mm -hmm. called nine one one. And was like, hey, the cops are chasing me due to statute, blah, 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 blah. They're not allowed to do that. I need you to call off the, the chase because they're not allowed to pursue me. And the lady was like, well, can you just pull over and like talk to them? And he goes, no, I'm driving with a suspended license. I'm not going to pull over and let them talk to me because they'll take me away or whatever. Fair. Like, so basically admitting he's doing something illegal on Fair. the call. And like, and from what I read, it seems like they did call off the chase because legally due to the new statute of whatever, they weren't supposed to be pursuing him. Yeah. So basically this dude called up and was like, Hey, the cops are chasing me. Make them stop. And they're like, okay. <laughs> like, wow. I just don't understand how that's even a, a, like, why would that even be brought up as like a thing to like, I mean, I, I obviously could have read deeper into it and know like exactly yeah, 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 what it yeah, means. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would think is that the reason is because it is dangerous. When it's most dangerous for the community, it's most dangerous for the criminal, and it's very dangerous for the police when they're in like a high speed chase through a, through an area that's populated by a lot of people. Yeah, almost so, everyone ends with a car crash, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's a pedestrian, sometimes it's someone else, sometimes it's just that car or it's the cops. It's, it's yeah. there's always a bad accident. And I would say is that nine times out of ten, these chasers can be like, uh, we already know his license plate number. We can just. Yeah, that's him. true. I think, oh, you know what? I think what ended up happening in this one is they threw down spike strips and got him before they stopped pursuing it. And, so, and that's another option as well. Yeah. Um, that doesn't but yeah, involve it was a just chase. Like, in the, in, and that's wild. And somebody else was telling me that in, in Austin, mm -hmm. if there's not an injury in a car accident, the cops will not come. Really? So, like, and that's part of, like, that new, like, when, like, defunding the police came out. And so that's, like, part of, like, the cost-cutting measures. They're like, well, we're not going to send people out. We don't have the, yeah, the resources thought... to, like, send them out for, like, a fender bender anymore. And and, uh, and and you know a little bit more about insurance than I do. Isn't there, like, a, a different issue when, like, there's a uh, an accident in Austin? In Austin, isn't there, like, a different set of rules than, like, it's, like, necessarily at fault or something? It's, like, both uh, people states, are... Some states, I think, I don't think Austin is that, but, like, some states have, uh, what is it? And I, I'm not, like, uh, it's, there's no fault states. No fault states. And I don't, I don't think Texas is one of them, but, like, it's basically, if you get into an accident... Your insurance covers your stuff. Their insurance covers their stuff. No matter who's at fault, it doesn't affect nothing. Okay. It's just yeah, like yeah, yeah. you go through your insurance, they go through theirs, which is kind of shady because like it if is. some drunk ass smashes into me and I got to yeah. use my insurance for it, like that yeah. reflects me negatively when yeah. it has nothing to do with my fault. Um, but yeah, like I just thought it was wild because like, you know, you get into an accident, everyone's all shook up, but everybody's fine. And then you just have to like deal with it yourself. Cops don't even come to help like navigate traffic or like any, like you're in an intersection and just they're just like yeah it's fine just we'll, we'll, you'll work it out the tow trucks yeah. will come yeah and honestly Jonas if you think about like the way DC is right now is that the cops have better things to do it's than, Washington State I'm sorry you're right it's Washington <laughs> State what do you think well still them too damn it they got crime there and have you ever like watched this is this is what came to my mind when you were talking about this okay it's like have you ever watched like a high speed chase or I like have. on the news live I did have you seen how ineffective the cars they'll have like i'm thinking like oj him riding the white bronco 19 police cars behind him doing nothing basically it's a parade it's like they do that forever then eventually they try to like position them to like spin out the back end or something yes but it takes like an hour so why even have all those cars there and even beyond that 
Where was the footage being taken of his car? From a goddamn helicopter. Yeah, the helicopter. The helicopter is way more effective at keeping a track on the criminal so that the police cars know where to Right, do it'd be they better to just do. to summon a helicopter yeah. to follow the car and then say, he's on he's this here. road. He's on this yes, road. Yes, and then you confer. Or throw down spike strips on that road because he's coming down yeah. it or whatever. Because chasing him just makes the, the criminal go faster. It makes them, like I said, more danger to themselves, the police, and the community. Oddly property. enough, interesting story about watching a police chase live it. on TV. I uh, back in the day, I don't remember how, but I had I ended up having I had direct TV, but for some reason I had like Los Angeles's. Um, I had like a news channel that was like for Los Angeles. I would get like Los Angeles news, right? On yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So like one day I was on that channel and there was a they were showing a, a high speed chase. What ended up happening is the car caught on fire. Because the, the the wheels blew out, like so they're chasing this car, and the wheels the wheels went out. I don't know if they shot him out or hit something or whatever. All of a sudden, you see all the sparks flying because it's rim on ground. Okay. Then, like all of a sudden, the back end of the car caught on fire. Yeah. And then they stopped and got out and they arrested him or whatever. But before they cut away, the car had got engulfed and then it exploded at the end. And yeah. I was like, that was the, I could I can't top watch it. And that's like one of the only ones I've ever watched live on TV. And I was like. <laughs> And like no one died or anything, but at the very end, right before they cut away, it did like a small like poof, where it like where it finally got the gas tank yeah. and the car like exploded. Not like a giant movie explosion, but no, no, not like the rock. Yeah, not like the rock blowing blowing things. <laughs> He's always blowing things. He's always making things explode. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen I've seen a bunch of those, and like I will say is that like a majority of the time it is like the the foot police that catch them so I I'm, I'm not saying it's that Well yeah because they end up stopping or wrecking and then they get out and run and that's when they actually apprehend them. Yeah. And then or they will pit maneuver them where they get up to the back yeah. end and they yeah. slam into their like back driver's side end and it spins them out like but that's still they still it, it's yeah. yeah most of the time it's they're driving through a neighborhood and they T-bone some random ass rando who has nothing to do but he's just trying to go through the yep. intersection there's some guy who's just driving and just going to work right and he gets smashed in because the guy's going 70 down yeah. the 25 on like a a, a four-way stop street yeah so i don't know if that if they're taking that into consideration when they made this law but it i mean it does yeah. kind of make sense and part of me wants to say it's due to something going on there's like i think i think part of what it was was like the whole force has to go through like these trainings with all like the obviously the the police brutality and things that have been happening yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. it's something about like i think they all have to go through tr this sort of like roadside training like how to how to and they until that's all done they're not they're like don't pursue anyone and i'm like criminals are just running amok in this damn city rob a bank dude just go yeah yeah basically like just drive just I keep mean, driving get and, into a tunnel get out and i think what is i think it's la that's having that, that same issue right now where they like people are just walking in the stores and like i don't think it's like a bunch of people doing it but i know it's like they can't pursue you they can't detain you for well they were doing like well there was a while somewhere it might not have been la but maybe san francisco the bay area where they were doing uh flash mob robberies like where people just run in and loot like a bunch of people just run in and like yeah. steal as much as they can from the store like you can't catch all of us yeah like i mean if there's 40 of us running in and deciding to attack your store you ain't getting every one of us at least at least 90 percent of us are getting away probably 95 percent, if not all are getting away with free stuff yeah even with the cameras yeah i saw videos on the news at the gym the other day there was like four dudes in the middle of the day uh were in a cell phone store just like stealing all the production phones they were like they were st they were on top of like you know when you go in, a, in the cell phone store like they have those little things tables set up and all the mm -hmm. phones are attached on those steel cables yeah, yeah, yeah. they were on top of it like kicking at them and stuff and they broke them all off and ran out the store with them and i was just like in the they're all dressed in black black hoods black they just ran in that's such a bad that's not even a good lick man what are you gonna do with those i don't know i don't, right like you can't you know they're all those all have serial numbers <laughs> try to I turn mean, it on it's gonna you're gonna know yeah, exactly which one it is that, that part too yeah. i mean it was just i was just people are just people are desperate they hungry out inflation, here inflation recession's coming it's gonna get worse Bro. oh my god <laughs> before we end i do have to say is that that shit is real what? Because I buy the same thing at the grocery store every week. Oh, yeah. And I've noticed that I'm up like 30% what I was spending three months ago. Oh, absolutely. That is a real, it's oh, a real for thing. Sure. Like, Yo, yeah. When HEB took their $6 salads up to $7, I almost, I almost called you. 
<laughs> almost called you. It almost I mean, called me because you knew I mean, I'd be mad about it. I needed emotional support. I was like, um, what the hell is yeah, going on dude, here? Yeah, dude, and it's well, not, and that's kind of like it will, and it, and it does affect stuff because it, I mean, we'll wrap this up because we're at time, but there is stuff that like it, it will be like, well, I went here before, and now I get the, either the prices are. 20 percent higher and i'm like that's not worth it mm-hmm. or the the amount of food is smaller and i'm like i'm just not gonna come here because like yeah. It, yeah, yeah. it was barely worth what i was paying before yeah it was like that sushi place down the road and i don't know when we got to go it was a, the, the bowls seemed less and the, and the roll seemed smaller and i was like if we go in and eat there again and it's it's smaller i probably would just stop going yeah, because I'm like, fair. I'm not going to pay $30 for like a poke bowl and a roll yeah. and then still be hungry an hour later after yeah. I get done eating it. Right. Yeah. Like, it's not worth it. it. Like even in fast food, dude, it's like $15 for like a goddamn combo. That food is not worth $15 no matter how you shape it. Uh, it was a five ninety nine meal 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, the hey. crazytown.com is where we are. You're listening. Go there again. Jonas. Hey, yo, stay safe out there. This Do it. TNT. We out.